I like the downtown Silver Spring area. Uh, it's a diverse community and we do have a nice support here in the community. You consider martial arts, you have to remember, we're talking about the human body. The human body can only move and function in so many different ways. But martial arts is about an internal world, your own universe, but also how you have to relate and balance it. We believe that uh, your martial arts is something that should affect, you know, not only you individually, but your community. You should be offering classes uh, to help people, to serve, so that they become better fit, uh, have more confidence in themselves. In the 60s, you know, there was another element of uh, social consciousness and uh, uh, black power movement, you know, was something that was extremely important. So I wanted to find out a little bit more about self. And then that's when the understanding of Africa came up. And then with Africa, then you realize, of course, being a cradle of civilization, you know, where everything came from, then it was clear that there were martial arts that was involved there as well. African martial arts started. And then to be able to move now into this, I'm looking at the incorporation of some of the traditional and contemporary um, martial arts techniques of Africa. I'm looking at the element of the drum. And so the music and the rhythm has another feel and flavor to it. So now at this particular point, I'm able to apply these techniques in a rhythmical manner. I'm able to use the uh, other psychological tactics that goes along with it of the system that I teach and that's the Inyoka Matigana, so the snake fighting system. So we've been involved in different humanitarian projects. Uh, we helped to raise money uh, for some Katrina victims. We have put together a process to get some books and shoes down to the people in Haiti. Uh, when the 2004 tsunami hit uh, Sri Lanka and India, uh, we went on a humanitarian mission to go help the people there. You know, I'm looking at it in terms of the person who does more and they grow from their time and training with me. They become more compassionate and more respectful if they are kinder to people, if they do their best to help others. If they uh, can demonstrate that, then I've done my job as a teacher and I've done my job as a martial artist because you don't have to fight. What you have to do is just, you know, be better. So, what makes me come to work every day is the love of the art and the love of humanity and looking at how we can um, evolve, we can grow better and stronger to reach our best selves.